Good morning, Bears. Let's get the week started. Short week. It's a Tuesday. We had yesterday off MLK, Martin Luther King Day, federal holiday to celebrate a man with a dream. We're going to watch a little video today as a standalone lesson because we like to tap into our uh, cultural and societal events that are happening if we're missing school and it's a historical event. Keep in mind that's not ancient history. This is more American history, which you will learn more in detail later. But since we had the day off, it, I think it's a great uh, uh, little holiday and a great man to learn some history about. He had great vision, big dreamer, always tried to keep it positive, not negative, as he fought for the freedom of all people, including the African American communities. And so we're going to watch a little video on that. On top of that, we are going to dive into Judaism. Some people like to make a parallel between Moses and the Christian messages. By the way, Martin Luther King was a reverend. He was a Christian minister. Some people call him preachers or pastors or uh, clergy. There's different names for him, but basically a leader in the Christian churches. And so... His, a lot of his messages came from the Bible and specifically from the Old and New Testament. And a lot of people do parallels to uh, civil rights in trying to establish freedom for people to Moses who brought freedom to the Israelites out of Egypt. So we are going in depth into the history of Judaism. Week one, we will be at least two weeks in ancient Judaism maybe even three. We'll see how things go. So Ancient Judaism History Week. Open this slideshow. Create slides for each concept. Concepts are in top slide and below. Check back daily for Mandy's. So after we do our Martin Luther King intro video, you're going to want to open in, and that link is right down here. You're going to want to open your new slideshow. Let's go take a look at it. As usual, it is in courses. I go employees, you go something else. So just in case you're new to class or just figuring things out, we have our groups where the assignment is that I just was talking about. That's always the basics of assignments are written there and video links. And then we go to courses. And remember, this week we're a history week. So world history right here. And I'm not going to put them in groups anymore. Too hard to find. So now you just scroll to the bottom for the most recent assignments and then from there you can make sure you submit them so right now there was nothing to submit yet on history this is just a skills grade that grade will pop up probably later this week and then in science you'll have your other grade which we'll talk about later we will review last week's science in uh in zoom and take a look at some of our super spiders but for this lesson we're going to focus on history so we're opening up the slideshow called israelites click it here or here and if we look at progress probably nobody is in progress yet because I just posted it so I will do my basic slide and here is our Israelite slide make your title slide here remember we're trying to each week make your own title slide what's the slideshow about who is creating the slideshow that would be you so always have a title slide this gives you the basic outline of concepts, what to do, concepts, visual support, analysis. This gives our overview of CRs, who knew about that. So let's dive into the concepts. Week overview, Judaism timeline. So that's a concept. So I want an image of a timeline here. If you type in Judaism timeline, you will see all these images. And that's a great way to learn tomorrow when we look at your slideshows and we look at these different images, that will help us get a basic timeline of Judaism. We have monotheism, belief in one God. We know that already. We will do some textual analysis to see if the text supports that. Canaan is the land of Canaan. We've also talked about this before because with Egypt, Mesopotamia, the Sumerians, all of those societies were around this Canaan region. So this could be a map or a description. The Tanakh, most people call it the Torah, but this is the more, I'd say, authentic way to say it, Tanakh, if I'm even saying that right. So research that, the Hebrew Bible. Abraham, father of three major religions, Islam, Christianity, Judaism. Important character, that's a person, so research him. And then Abraham's 
He, he started as Abram, and then his name became Abraham. You'll learn about that. And then Abram's journey to Canaan. So here's our location, Canaan. How did Abram and the Israelites get into Canaan? Well, this is a search images on this. This will be another map. And you'll, they'll show with some timelines and some descriptions how Abram, God sent Abram into Canaan. And that's the beginning of Judaism. So that map will be helpful. So type in Abram's journey to Canaan and you'll find that. Isaac and Jacob, you'll learn by researching this that one of these two, his name actually turned into the name Israel of the Israelites, which is another name for the people of Judaism. And so that's an interesting story as well. These are people, they're brothers. Joseph of the Bible. Now, Abram actually at one point is goes into Egypt and then Joseph is it also into Egypt and Joseph is there and gets great power there's a movie about him we will watch clips of that movie probably this week because it's fun and you can learn a lot from just watching those great historical fiction movies and so Joseph started it was a part of a time when they actually lived in Egypt for 400 years over 400 years and it, in the beginning, it was a great thing. So the pharaohs and the Israelites working together nicely, but things went south. And next thing you know, after Joseph is dead, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. And that sets up the story of Moses. And Moses, let my people go, brings the people out of Egypt. And so we get a lot of tie-ins here to our Egypt studies because all of this is happening at the same time that the pharaohs and the pyramids. And also, remember, over with the Sumerians, way back here before even Abraham, that's where we're going to do the timeline, was the city of Ur and the Sumerians and the, uh, the buildings they built that might have been the Tower of Babel. And so they're all the ziggurats. So there's a lot going on there. Very exciting stuff. And then, of course, Exodus 3, 6-8 is a Bible verse. So this is our primary source which describes some happenings here. So find that verse and paste it into that slide. All right, so remember, this is just our intro. I like you guys to go do your research on your own. Look at pictures, read some descriptions, see what you can learn on your own as an independent learner as you build this slideshow. Remember, all you need to have done today is images. So try to go get your images. Maybe you get some cited research where you copy from the internet and paste into the slideshow. Maybe you can get that far by tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna dive in and look at your slideshows and you will help us learn about all these critical concepts and the foundations of Judaism. All right, let's go watch our, uh, our MLK short video and then I'm gonna let you guys get to work on the slideshow today. Now the MLK short video is in groups if you're watching this on Zoom, just go click that now because I'm not going to record it on here. It makes it too long. So you go click that and watch it on your own or find another MLK. Just a little overview of that. If you're in Zoom with me, let's go watch it now. All right, that's an interesting video. That's called a biography. Remember, a autobiography is auto means, hey, my cat's scratching the chair. Cat is scratching the chair. So an autobiography is when a... Now the cats are fighting over there. Hey, take it easy. Autobiography is when auto means I would write a biography about myself. Just a straight biography is a biography of another person. Let me go check on these cats real quick. And this cat's fighting, dogs eating loud. So much fun. We're back. All right, get your slideshows going. If you feel like it, you can make a bonus slide, Martin Luther King. You do not have to. Can't wait for tomorrow to check these slides out. Have a great day. Hope you were in Zoom so we can go a little bit more in depth. But if you're watching this video, you can now get your slideshow done. We'll see you tomorrow. Can't wait to dive into this historic, fascinating culture.